Hello, football fans and sports fans alike out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and you know the drill. It's another week in the NFL, another pretty uh, eventful week, if I do say so myself. Uh, we have another week of picks to do, and last week I was a not very stellar 9-7. and seven. Because a lot of teams, again, it's a recurring theme in the NFL, a lot of teams that should have won didn't win. Philadelphia no way should have lost to, Phil to uh, Seattle. That just should not have happened. And even my Bears almost beat the Browns. So there was a lot of upsets again. Uh, it was crazy. I mean, I'm not going to say that Dallas shouldn't have lost to the Bills. The Bills are a quasi-quality team, so I'm not going to say no way they should have, but with the way they were playing coming into that game, into that week, you would have thought they would have won. So, you know, what do I know? But anyway, this is Christmas week, and I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope that you have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. And you know what that means? It means a lot of football. It means a lot of NFL football, and it means a lot of college football coming up. So, um, with all of that having been said, we're going to get into our Week 16 picks, because that's where we are. We are at Week 16. There are only two more weeks left, this week and next week, I think. Or maybe there's another week to a lot for 17 games? There might be. There might be. But anyway, I digress. Does it really matter? I'm lost in the shuffle here. So we're almost, um, I am almost at 60% on the year. I'm like percentage points away from 60%. Uh, that, that great week I had like three weeks ago where I was 10 and 3 really helped. So we're gonna try to ride the uh, we're gonna try to ride the wave and hope that we can get some big time insight into some of these games and uh, and get more of them right than nine. Like I would like to have eleven, maybe. Is that too much to ask? So anyway, we're gonna start with the Thursday, December twenty first game. And that is going to be the Saints at the Rams. Now, the Rams have been a surprising team this year. The Saints have been surprising only at times, but uh, and, and actually last week was one of those times. But um, the Rams, yeah, I mean, the Rams with the, the Puka Nakua guy and, uh, and you know, the, the resurgence of their offense and Stafford looking good again. Uh, not being injured and looking good. Um, and this game is in LA. So let's go up here and let's get my uh, let's get my marker. Let me go get my colored marker. I'm gonna go get the green, the greeny Lee. And uh, well, I gotta get that out of the way. There we go. So, uh, with the colored marker, I am going to circle the Rams. We're going to say the Rams are going to win this game on Thursday. So, now this next game is going to be on Saturday. So, I had to, yeah, I had to move that out of the way. Um, we're going to have, looks like, two Saturday games. And the first of those is going to be the Bengals at the Steelers. Now, the Steelers, because it's Christmas week, they're going to start Mason Rudolph at quarterback. So, you know, Tomlin is getting into the holiday spirit here, especially after his team showed no offensive prowess whatsoever under Trubisky, and they really weren't doing that even under Pickett. So, um, yeah, so now they're going to Mason Rudolph. Now, the Bengals, though, the Bengals are great. They're rolling. Uh, the new guy Browning, I think, is is, is no that too, maybe it is maybe that's what his name is. The quarterback, I keep forgetting what his name is. But anyway, that guy looks good. The new uh, Bengals quarterback, and you know, 
So, um, and, you know, they have all of their weapons going for them. They have a pretty good defense. The Steelers' defense has actually fallen off, and they had one guy suspended, I think, for the rest of the year now. So it's going to be tough for the Steelers. It's, I think it's going to be tough sledding for them in this divisional game. Even though the Steelers are at home, I am going to go with the Bengals. Take Browning and the Bengals. And that brings us to the other Saturday game, which will be at 8 p.m., and that is the Bills at the Chargers. Now, the Chargers are just a shell of themselves. They they put forth no effort this past week. They got Staley fired, although really that was going to happen anyway. It was just a matter of time because Staley wasn't a very good coach anyhow. But their lack, their complete lack of interest in playing the Raiders, it showed. And they got trampled. And the Bills... The Bills took down Dallas. So the Bills realize, they realize that there's a sense of urgency here. I'm going to go with the Bills. They're a much better team. They're a more talented team. They're playing for something, and the Chargers apparently are not. And so go with the Bills in that one. Now you got the Commanders at the Jets. Who is going to win this game? I mean, I don't even know. You got the Jets, who apparently don't even have Zach Wilson anymore. Maybe they've got Semyon. They're just really bad. And the Commanders, who knows, because Howell may have lost his job at quarterback to uh, Brissett. Because Brissett came in, and he was, like, great. It was like day and night between Howell and Brissett last week. So, I don't know if um, if, if Rivera's going to do that. Um, because, really... If Howell is your future, you should keep playing Howell. Really. Brissett is not your future. But he's the better quarterback, clearly, based on what happened last week. I'm going to go with the Commanders here, even though the Jets are at home. Um, and even though both teams suck, I'm going to take the Commanders. Next one you got is the Lions at the Vikings. This is going to be a slam-bang scuffle. But I'm going to go with the Lions. The Lions have a better team. They have a more talented team. Uh, the Vikings, uh, they've got one of those journeyman quarterbacks, um, you know, playing. I don't know. It's not a good situation for the Vikings, even though they're at home. Next one you got is the Browns at the Texans. Now, uh, C.J. Stroud is out, I believe, for the season, or at least he's not going to be in this game. Um, and Joe Flacco last week passed for 400 yards. 400 yards, Joe Flacco. So we're going to take the Browns here. I think the Browns are hitting on all cylinders. And again, they're a team that needs to win, and they need to win out. Um, the Texans, I don't think even at this point, even if they win out, they couldn't make the playoffs. Um, so now you got the Packers at the Panthers. The Packers, they were very depressing last week. I thought they were going to, I think I thought they were going to win. I think I thought they were going to win, but they didn't. Um, and, uh, but the Panthers are a, a two win team now uh, because they did happen to win in front of like 15 people in their own home stadium. But uh, this, you know, I'm going to go with the Packers. The Packers, I think, still have a chance. I think they're at least mathematically alive. So we're going to go with the Packers there. Um, Seattle and the Titans. The Titans lost last week. I had the Titans winning. They didn't quite do that. In fact, they didn't even come close to doing that. So um, And the Seahawks were quite impressive Um with uh, with Locke at quarterback. Now, the question is, are they going to stay with Locke or are they going to go uh, are they going to go back to um, the other guy because I think he's healthy now. Um, or I think he's healthy enough to play again. But Locke, Drew Locke, man, was great. So, uh, well, all right, I don't want to say he was great, but in key at key times when it counted, he was on. He was on key. So um, and he beat the Eagles. I mean the Eagles. So 
you got to believe they could beat the Titans. Now, I know that last week Seattle was at home and they had the 12th man and all that good, happy horse shit, but I'm still going to go with the Seahawks in this one. So now we're moving along and we've got the Colts at the Falcons. The Falcons... They've fallen off. Remember back earlier in the season where I said I like what the Falcons are doing? All right, well, I don't like what the Falcons are doing anymore. They're crap. So we're going to go with the Colts. I think the Colts and, uh, you know, and uh, Minshew, Gardner Minshew, that guy is no joke. All right, I don't want to say he's no joke, but he's pretty good for a backup. I mean, he's technically their backup quarterback, but. You know, he's, he's leading them. He's leading them in. Next, we have the Jaguars at the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are trying to win the um, NFC uh, South, and they might just do it only because every team in the South is, is terrible. Uh, the Jaguars, though, um, have been losing games that they should win. Um, and last week, they should have been more competitive than they were. They got blown off the ball, they made a lot of mistakes. Lawrence fumbled a couple of times. One time he fumbled. I don't even know what, what happened. He was running over to the sidelines, and, the, and he just lost control of the ball for no reason. Nobody hit him. He just lost control of the ball and fumbled it. So um, I don't know what's going on with the Jaguars. The Buccaneers are at home, and they really need the game. And um, as much as I uh, I don't like Mayfield, I really don't, he did play pretty good last week. And he has been playing pretty good lately. So I'm, I think we're going to go with the Buccaneers at home in this one. Next, you got the Cowboys at the Dolphins. Now, the Dolphins are, again, they're like, they're like a lot of these good teams this year. Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. They're all Jekyll and Hyde. I have no idea. Like, there's no dominant. Like, if you went back to the 70s, like the late 70s, and you were picking Steelers games, you would always pick the Steelers to win, and you would always be right. But, well, all right, you would be wrong maybe two or three times, but most of the time you would be right. But no, not in this NFL. This is not your granddad's NFL, or even mine when I was a kid NFL. This is a different NFL, and even the dominant teams lose games that they should win, and they lose, it seems, a lot. It's, it's hard. It's just hard. But the Dolphins, though, win at home. They are a very good team at home. They're almost unbeatable at home. So, And the Cowboys didn't look good. The Cowboys did not have an answer last last week. The Cowboys are a team that they put a game plan out there. They say, this is what we do. And that's what they do. And if it doesn't work, they just keep doing it. Because that's what they do. Like, they don't really, they're not good at adjusting on the fly. Uh, the Dolphins will probably be better at that. They're a good team, and they win at home. I'm going with the Dolphins. Next one you got is the Cardinals at my Bears. Yeah, we're going to go with the Cardinals. I mean, <laughs> I'm just going to cut through the crap for you. Although the Bears have been playing better lately, and they could have beaten the Browns. They just didn't. Um, but the, And they made, a, they made a few mistakes. And, you know, their coach is going to make mistakes. But the Cardinals have been playing good football too, especially since Kyler Murray's been back. And uh, did I just mention Kyler Murray? Yeah, he's better than Fields. So we're going to go with the Cardinals here. Take the Cardinals. Uh, next one you got is the Patriots at the Broncos. I'm going with the Broncos. Broncos at home. The Patriots, they're not really playing for much. I think that the message that, uh, uh, that Belichick has been you know, peddling it's, it's getting lost on the players. So we're going to go with the Broncos, who really need it, um, and, and have been playing fairly well. Even in the loss last week, I think they lost last week, but they, they played decent football. Next one you got is the Raiders and the Chiefs. The Chiefs are at home. The Raiders, though, are playing inspired football. I mean, 
they they tore the Chargers a new one last week, and um, the Chiefs are a team that again they should be a dominant team. They should be the Steeler, the seventy the seventy eight Steelers or the seventy nine Steelers of this era, but they're not. They lose to good teams and bad teams. It just doesn't matter. So, um, you know, this is a tough one. I'd hate to take the Raiders, though, going into Kansas City. I am, I'm going to go with Kansas City only because they're at home and maybe because they've got a, gotten a wake-up call. Maybe they have. They have better talent than the Raiders. They certainly do. But they have better talent than a lot of teams that they haven't beaten. The next one is the Giants and the Eagles. And, of course, we're, we discussed the Eagles. The Eagles lost to the Seahawks when there's no way in hell that should have happened. And But the Giants, you know, you thought DeVito was the man. He showed last week he's not really the man. He can, he's, he's more than human. I, and the Eagles are at home. I'm going to go with the Eagles at home. Mainly because they're home. But also they are way more talented than the Giants and they should win that game. Um, and that was one of the Monday games. And now we've got, in fact, we've got three Monday games. Is that right? Three Monday games? That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I hate when they do this. There only should be one Monday game. But anyway... I don't want to sit here and get on that soapbox. I mean, there's a lot of soapboxes I could get up on, and I would end up falling off of most of them. So we're going to the last game, and that's the Ravens at the 49ers. I'm going to take the 49ers. Now, this will be a good – I think this should be a good game. Both teams are very good. Both teams have a lot of weapons. Both teams' quarterbacks are healthy and, and ready and willing to play. So it should be a good game. But the 49ers are at home, and the 49 again, the 49ers should be some version. They should be like the Dallas of the 70, the 78 Dallas Cowboys. Uh, again, a team that did not lose a lot and certainly didn't lose games that they should have won. But they, I mean, they have. They've lost to Cleveland. You know, there was no way they should have lost to Cleveland, but they did it. So. We'll see what happens here, but the 49ers are at home. The Ravens have had some issues, just like every great team in the NFL has. So I'm going to go with the 49ers. So that's what you're looking at. Let me just go back and recap. You know, We'll take another look at these teams, and these are going to be my picks that I am sticking with in Week 16. A lot of these games could go either way. They could even be ties. Who knows? But um, what do you guys think? Leave uh, you know a comment in the description or in the uh, in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Do a lot of stuff. Send it to people. Say hey, look at this pick master. Yeah. So anyway, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am signing off.